Well, hello! Welcome to Drawing with Fire. I am Valerie, your neighborhood biography artist. Your place for burning and learning. Alright, so for the live this past Tuesday, we focused on the anemone arms. And so what I'm doing right here on screen is just so you can see um, what we discussed in regards to lighting. Now, the live was focused on these arms right here because they are more detailed and they are also brighter and because the light is coming down do this coming down this way we have to pay attention to where we put our highlights and how to make things glow so right here you can see that the light is coming down on our subject on the arms and so that is where we focused. I'm going to add another layer here. Now, looking at the sepia photo, you can see the tonal values better, and the glow is a little more even versus the color photo. See the difference? It's just easier to discern on what's what's dark and what's light. So let's zoom in for a minute. Now we see that the arms here have those details that we were discussing, but there is a difference for these for this piece because even though these arms are closer, they are out of focus because of the depth of field that this picture was this photo was taken in, both the front and the back here are less focused, a little more blurry, and that allows us to look at our subject here. And why do I feel like I am doing a football thing? <laughs> anyway, so we focused on that detail and why we have more detail. We also looked at the glow of the arms. If you notice on this one, and on um, this one, no, not that one so much, but mainly the one, the first one, it is lighter in the middle and darker along these edges. And I do burn that because I needed to have this be in in order to get the, the back areas to feel right. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> anyway, oh, let's take that drawing off. <laughs> Oh boy, this is fun, isn't it? <laughs> so we will get into the burning. We're going to focus on this area here. And next week we are looking at this dark area here. So let's get started. Alrighty, we are getting started with the General's White Charcoal Pencil to lay in where my highest highlights are so I don't lose those later. They do erase and I can burn near them and that's safe to burn near. Um, so I got that going and then I jumped right into burning. We started with the number one arm as I put it in the live. It's the biggest or the main detailed arm that we're looking at in the photo. I know it may not look like that quite yet but it does have the most darks in the middle, so that's where I'm getting started. So I'm doing oval um, strokes. Sometimes it looks like I'm just going back and forth in a line. It's still an oval stroke. I'm just making it more straight than going around in circles and circles and circles, and I know that could be a little confusing, which is why I popped at the animation. I made more. Let's have fun with it. So the faster I do move my tip, the lighter it is. I have not adjusted my heat setting. I did try to mark every time my heat setting was adjusted. If it, you don't see a number pop on the screen, it was the number before. So I'm going back and forth. And the biggest thing I talked about, one of the biggest things I talked about in the live was making sure to go in the direction of the object. Meaning the arm here, is a cylinder so it's a back and forth going
going along with the surface with the curve of that uh, cylinder in order to give the visualization of fullness, of roundness, more 3D. I have lowered my heat because now I'm trying to blend that darker line out and ensure that it's blended and there's a gradient going on because there isn't a strict line for the shadow on this so I'm trying to round it out and this is the actual speed that I was moving at during the live. That shows you how quickly I really am moving my pen to keep the heat or the burning light even though I'm still on two I'm going super fast and that is the best way I control my heat you may want to adjust further down totally up to you but especially during the live I don't have too much flexibility on constantly adjusting the heat and just in general as you're burning as you continue your burning adventure you will get more comfortable with your tip speed and controlling how dark or light a burn is. Now sometimes you do need to adjust that heat because maybe what you want is darker or lighter than what you're going to get with that particular heat setting and so you need to adjust. Now what I just showed you with that animation right there is I'm using about half of the bottom of the tip and going back and forth versus doing my lovely ovals that I love so much and we discussed that in the last video in the last recap so those are there's three main uh, strokes that I did throughout the live and that was the oval the back and forth or up and down where the tip is more flat and this one coming up is actually the angled where I'm talking about using more of, not, not this one, it's the next one, I promise, um, more of the tip angle left or right and doing a drawdown motion. That's the only way I know how to explain it. So the full tip is not, not touching the board, just most of it. And in the animation you're going to see pop up, you'll see pink. In fact, here we go. That pink is trying to show that it's not the full bottom of the tip, like three quarters of the tip. <laughs> and I'm just drawing down, dragging down, and I'm kind of going a uh, catty corner across the grain. This is what's going to be different with each piece of wood and each person burning, is how the wood takes the heat. Sometimes running north-south along the grain like this one, looking here, that grain is running north-south, meaning up and down. It is a short grain. If it runs east-west, it's considered a long grain, or left to right or right to left, however your brain likes that. <laughs> anyway, sometimes going across it will get you a smoother burn. Sometimes going with the grain will get you a smoother burn. The ovals kind of help with that because you're going in all kinds of directions. Not only are you going circular, but you're going up and down, left and right, which is one of the reasons I like that um, stroke the most when I'm trying to get good blends, textures, um, gradients. That tends to be the one I go to, um, especially with a lighter burn. With a darker burn, sometimes doing the drag down or drag sideways works better. So I was talking about in the live that each one of these arms have more or less of a glow and that's what we're trying to achieve. So you'll see a lot of the arms, not all of them, but like the bottom right arm, you'll see I have a double line there. The inside line is the main part of the arm. The outside line is where the glow is or where the light is showing through the arm and it's more fuzzy and that's what gives us our glow. So between contrast and watching how fuzzy or um, what's the word? Fuzzy versus details, not the word, but a more dominant line, we should say. That is what's going to give you the glow. We want fuzzy, where fuzzy goes, and more detail, where more detail goes, 
but the contrast, the lights and the darks, make all the difference. If you burn everything that's more of a mid-tone, it's going to, you could still have a beautiful burning and it and technically correct, but it's not going to stand out. It's not going to catch the eye and hold it there as long because everything's very even. Our eyes like to look at darks and lights and different shapes and different textures. It's more interesting to our brain. So when trying to reproduce a photo, because that's ultimately what we're doing is reproducing a photo in burning, you want that contrast to make certain elements stand out. And in doing that, if it's a dark element and doing that opposite of the light, they both stand out and your brain bounces around going, Ooh, this is cool. I want to look at it all. At one point, and I did go back and forth with the white charcoal pencil, adding it because I would erase it, trying to get rid of my graphite lines, and I needed to be able to judge value. So I burned around the main arm in order to see those values. Now these are not my final values. These are my in the middle of the road. Um, will probably definitely go darker in some areas versus going full dark except where there are full darks and allowing me to adjust later. I know this takes more time, but I'm the type of person that works almost to the end on a certain area, but not fully. And then I come back at the very end and adjust everywhere I need to adjust instead of finishing one area completely and then leaving less room for adjustments later. That's just how I work. Nothing wrong if you do it the other way. So I'm going back and forth between the two main strokes. It's dragging across or back and forth or ovals. Um, the only place where I really did the angle drag, I guess that's what we'll call it, angle drag, is the dark areas because I was slowing how quickly I moved the tip, had more of the tip touching the wood and, and drawing down in order to get a more even burn. Here I'm still working on just the tip, doing ovals, trying to get into the small area. And in fact, this area I later realized in the live that I messed up. I burned too far down and I have to actually adjust pencil wise with that arm that's to the left of what you're viewing because I cut it in too much. And so I had to redraw my line to figure out where it would still make sense. I decided in the live not to actually scrape or use a knife to clean off that part of the burning because honestly, nobody is going to realize that I put the arm in the wrong place. I'm going to, I'm claiming artistic license here and I changed the arm a little bit not a big deal. It means I'm not marring up the board more than I need to. It's not the main subject. It's a background arm. And even if you looked at the photo, if somebody was looking at the photo and the burning side by side, it's not something that they would notice. It's just not a big deal. So here's the angle drag down where I'm using the, le the right side of my tip and the left side is hovering. I can't get a very good picture to show you that the left side really, the left side edge really isn't touching down. It's just kind of hovering and I'm going slower dragging down. This time I'm going with the grain. I'm getting a darker burn because I'm going with the grain. This piece of wood, the birch just happens to like it better that way. And so it's smoother and getting a more even tone. And this is only at three and a half. See, there we go. I don't know how well that animation describes what the pin is doing. Please let me know down in the comments if the animations help, if they kind of bug you. Do I need to make them bigger? Do I need to make them smaller? Is it a good visualization? Here is where I realized, oops, I messed up. And I am talking about it on the live, so if you want to go back and watch the live, you can hear what I say about it, which I kind of, because this is a recap already, kind of 
<laughs> summarized it. But even after um, doing the live, today when I took a picture for the end, I realized there's still a line there to the right of the line I just drew in that still needs to come down. So I pulled it down a little bit more and that will be um, the fuzziest, lightest part of that arm. And nobody will be the wiser and I'm not going to stress about it. Um, a few years ago, like Hubby pointed out, I might get a little irritated with it and try to fix it. But now it is a realization. Fix what you really need to fix. And if you can live with it, move on. Because then you'll have less stress, you'll feel like you're achieving more, and you'll enjoy burning more. Because you won't feel like you're having to fix everything, and gosh darn, I keep messing up. Sometimes a mess up actually improves the burning. So don't stress over it. If it's not your main subject, and it's not, you know, you didn't end up putting the the eyeball down by the chin, you're good. P most people will not notice it. Of course, you will notice it. You will know, but most people won't. So we're coming towards the end of the recap. Next week, like I said, we are doing the, da the dark part in the back that's more fuzzy and out of focus. And that's what's really going to pop the fish. And these arms that I'm working at more into the foreground. And we might just discuss the ones in the front a little bit more. I did discuss them in the live, but maybe we'll discuss them a little bit more. I hope this helped you out and keep watching these recaps. I'll keep doing them if you keep watching them. <laughs> if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, we do lives every Tuesday, 11 a.m. Arizona time. Sorry, this is blurry. Um, and I am adding these recaps and there's other videos. I have over 210 over that on my channel now. And don't forget to hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Engagement helps so YouTube will share the video. Happy burning, guys. <laughs>